Hello, it's Richard Beckett here from Global Water Solutions. Um, today I want to talk to you about um, sizing of expansion vessels. Now there are various applications in expansion vessels uh, such as heating, potable water, pumped, uh, accumulators, solar. Today I want to talk to you about the <coughs> expansion vessels for thermal. Now this is the tank expansion vessel which goes next to the calorifier or the unvented cylinder which is there to take up the expanded water, the thermal expansion of the water. <coughs> so the first thing we need are some um, basic um, parameters. The total system volume, the total system volume <coughs> of the water in the system. The quickest and simplest way of calculating this is the chlorifier size, unvented cylinder size plus 10%. The maximum temperature that you will be storing the water at, the safety valve relief pressure, the static height to the highest discharge point in the building, uh, and the tap operating pressure that you require at that particular point. So here are some uh, parameters that I'm going to use for this calculation. The total system volume, the, the chlorifier or unvented cylinder is a 200 litre, so therefore 200 litre plus 10%, 220 litres. The maximum temperature is 60 degrees centigrade. The safety valve is set at 8 bar, the static height is 7 metres, and we have a tap operating pressure required at that point of 7 metres at 2 bar. Okay, first thing that we need to calculate is the expanded water volume. And that's basically a chart lookup table, which is here on the screen, which I'll leave there for a few seconds while you look at it. But basically, you look down the chart, you look at the temperature that you're storing the water at, which is now at 60 degrees, and you can see that the value is 0 0.0172. So 0 0.0172 times 220 litres is equal to 3.784 litres. Second point, system pressure. The system pressure, we say, should be 15% below the safety, the safety valve. So 8 bar, which is the 8 bar safety valve, times 0.85 will give you 15% below the 8 bar, which is 6.8 bar. Let's calculate now the precharge of the expansion vessel. So the precharge is equal to the fill pressure, which is equal to the operating pressure plus static height. Pressure. So, the static pressure, as I said to you before, is the height uh, to the furthest, the highest discharge point in the building. So in this particular uh, calculation, that's 7 metres. So 7 metres divided by 10 the, is 0 0.7 and that's converted it into bar. So that's 0.7 bar. So the precharge is now the tap pressure you require of 2 bar plus 0.7 bar equals 2.7 bar. Now we go on to the acceptance factor. The acceptance factor is a value of that the expansion vessel can comfortably uh, uh, accept a, a volume of water. And the acceptance factor is basically um, Boyle's law. Now Boyle's law states high pressure P high minus P low divided by P high plus 1. So in this calculation again, we have a high pressure of 6.8 bar, which is here, the system pressure. We have a low pressure of 2.7 bar, which is the precharge. So 6.8 minus 2.7 bar divided by 6.8 plus 1 bar, 1 bar being atmosphere. That comes to 4.1 divided by 7.8 bar. That gives you an acceptance factor of 0.5256. Final calculation now to get your final uh, tank size and the total tank volume is the expanded water volume divided by the acceptance factor and the expanded water volume of 3.784 divided by the acceptance factor of 0.5256 gives you a tank value size, total tank volume of 7.56 litres. We would always go, you always should go one size higher than that. So that would be an 8 litre tank. And an 8 litre tank is our PWB8LX. 
um, which I hope you can see there at the bottom, um, which is our PWA Telex. So thank you for listening. I will come back with um, different sizing of different expansion things. Thank you very much.